Fox News is the most watched channel in the US and reaches millions of Americans every single day. Its infamous reporting, along with countless scandals and the compassionate relationship with current President Donald Trump, has made Fox News a worldwide sensation. The channel describes its reporting as fair and balanced and prides itself with being a bias-free news outlet. In reality, there are loads of accusations of manipulation, obstruction of facts and fake news. Since its launch in 1997, Fox News has slowly become a right-wing propaganda machine. The idea for the channel is much older and was born 50 years ago. This is the story of a man who has put his life to making his very own empire of lies and fear-mongering a reality. In 1967, Roger Ailes was way ahead of his time. He understood television and was aware of the effect this medium had on the masses. Before becoming the CEO of Fox News, he worked as a media strategist for a range of Republican presidential campaigns. Particularly his experience as Nixon's television advisor shaped his career as well as his character. One might argue that this experience might have planted the seed in what would later become the heart and soul of the Fox News mindset. In 2011, a memo from that time was rediscovered in the Nixon Presidential Library. It is entitled, A Plan for Putting the GOP on TV News. Written only two years before Nixon's re-election, the memo gives a telling look into Roger Ailes' strategies. It starts off with crediting television as the most powerful medium at that point in time and offers a critical explanation as to why that is. People are lazy. With television, you just sit, watch, listen. The thinking is done for you. It is not clear who wrote the memo initially, however, Roger Ailes' handwriting is all over it. The memo describes a plan to have a production team inside the White House that would produce pro-administration videotape, which would then be sold to the top local news stations in the country. The purpose of this entire plan was to avoid censorship within the networks. Interesting. Roger Ailes' notes are thrilled. A very good idea, an excellent idea. He also gives extensive feedback to possible reasons that produced new segments could be rejected. One of them is TV stations being afraid of local outcry from local Democrats on overbalancing news problem. Overbalancing. What an interesting wording. Ailes and his colleagues didn't just strive to balance the media landscape, but to overbalance it. But how would one get local news stations to include pro-Republican news segments into their program? In 1973, conservative beer magnate Joseph Kors founded TVN, a video wire service that produced news segments from all over the US and Washington in particular. The goal of the production company was to create a more balanced television landscape. Yeah, we've heard that one before. Although he had never worked in news, Roger Ailes joined the company as its new director in 1974. The company's business model was simple. Produce news segments and sell them to local TV news stations for very little money. Just like Ailes had planned earlier, TVN found a way to get the GOP on the news. The produced segments would either focus on or favor the acts of the Republican Party. Their content would be tweaked slightly to sympathize with the GOP. Small local TV stations with limited financial capabilities would eat it up. They had to. The company went bankrupt shortly after though, in 1975. Today, TVN is considered by many to be the predecessor of what would later become Fox News. Ailes' long-standing vision would become a reality 20 years later when he met media mogul Rupert Murdoch. Murdoch was a right-wing conservative and a big fan of Reagan. The two men wanted to create a TV news channel which would restore objectivity in news. Kind of like uh, Anakin with the Force. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. They wanted to combat the, in their opinion, often left-leaning mainstream news channels. We'd like to be premier journalists. We'd like to uh, restore objectivity uh, where we find it lacking. And, uh, and uh, certainly uh, uh, there, there could be that interpretation because of my background, but I left politics a, a number of years ago and have run a news organization for the last two years. So we just expect to do fine, balanced journalism. 
So a media titan and a master manipulator slash Republican media strategist joined forces to make balanced news on TV. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Do I do what? Make Kool-Aid. Uh, n no, I, I don't make uh, Kool-Aid. <laughs> Fox News officially launched on the 7th of October 1996 with a reach of 10 million households. Over the years it has evolved from a partisan news channel into a full-blown propaganda machine. From the beginning Roger Ailes reigned over his network like a dictator. Former executives described him as hateful, paranoid and power hungry. Much like Anakin, actually. Many former employees recall an atmosphere of fear at Fox News. Anyone outside Fox is the enemy. Most manipulation techniques were strategically organized by Ailes and his executive vice president and Fox editor John Moody. Each morning they would discuss the reporting of the news that day. Moody would then send out a memo to the Fox News team. These memos have been published in the 2004 documentary Outfoxed Rupert Murdoch's War on Journalism. They give a clear insight into how Fox News executives controlled their daily reporting. The memos give clear instructions, such as not to question the Bush administration during the 9-11 commission or even cutting down the speech of the Democratic presidential nominee to show more compelling news. Fox News has been proven to tweak pictures of politicians and other reporters to make them look stupid. Climate change is denied, which is ironic. Conspiracy theories like Obama being a Muslim born outside of the US and supposed deep state agents trying to overthrow Trump get seemingly endless airtime. Manipulations range from cherry picking advantageous poll numbers to deliberately inviting weak or centrist liberals who don't have any strong talking points or agree with most of what the hosts are saying. Interviewees that get too critical get insulted, shut down and shut up. I'm asking well, you to shut like up about sex. Africa. Shut up. And shut up publicly. Today, the network has strong ties to Trump and fiercely supports his political agenda. Roger Ailes was forced to leave Fox News in 2016 due to multiple allegations of sexual harassment. He died in 2017. An ingenious idea from his time with Nixon has become a galactic right-wing news empire. Today, Fox News plays a big part in an increasingly toxic media environment, fueling populism and hatred, providing easy answers and clear enemies. It lowers the bar as to what is acceptable behavior and deflates the value of truth and reasoning with widely unethical business practices. So much for balance. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Bring balance to the force. Not leave it in darkness. Hey, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you did. Some of you may know already, but we design clothing under the name of Culture Culture. We just launched a new collection with a bunch of sweaters and hoodies. Perfect for the cold season. Items ordered now should arrive just in time for Christmas. We work with Teespring, so we ship globally. You can find our store at cultureculture.co. For more pictures of the items, visit our Instagram at cultureculture.co. Patrons of this channel get 15% discount on everything. Until then, see you next time.